The fierce deity, yeah. Um, my wife, uh, she's a little bit of a Zelda head, so... Yeah. What? Uh, Wait, she, what? If you want a little fun fact, she's 100% in Breath of the Wild. Okay. That makes so sense. So she found all 900 Korok seeds, all the shrines, everything. Oh, no! Oh, no! Apparently, Spike beats Zenito. Pretty big upset, I'd say. Apparently. I don't know where that even happened. I feel like Mugen's just uh, fucking around. Might not even happen yet. But on to this match. We got Link, we got Sephiroth. Let's do it. So now, Sephiroth. When I was talking to Scott earlier, he said, the only way I really play lame with Sephiroth is I, I snap my fingers at you. Yep. Which, and uh, it's a good way to play safe. Yeah, I mean, right now, Seth, he's doing a great job of using that sword as a, you cannot go anywhere near me horizontally where my blade can threaten you. Exactly. And normally Link wants to do that. You know, Link does have good range, and you also have Nair to challenge on shield, but Scott really doesn't let you play in that you know zone at all. Oh, God. Here we go. Getting stunned by the, uh, the little click. Oh, going low. Both of these two are going low, and Scat dying at 17%. Yeah. That is a uh, wait. What? That's crazy. Okay, okay, so we got. I got the shag. But so we have the Scat trying to re trying to reclaim his center stage. Yeah. If he doesn't get his angel throughout this process, this matchup I feel like becomes a little bit more of a pain in the ass for Sephiroth. Yeah. When you lose this lead, man, you know, and you don't have your comeback. Mechanic, it, it can be difficult. Well, I mean, I paid five dollars. I want my I win button. Yeah, all right. Definitely has one of those. Has a couple of those, honestly. Saffroth, uh, pretty underrated. Yeah, this guy, this guy does pretty well with it. I mean, he got third last week. You know, showing up with his yeah. character. But you know what? It's gonna be interesting. And oh. there it is. That's what I was talking about. So here's set play. He has so many ways to start and set up his combos using the projectiles, and a lot of times you'll forget about them. Yep. They just hit you. They're they're rogue right now. So here's the wing. Okay. And dead. Man, barely taps him. I don't even know if that was a sweet spot or anything, but got him. And I think that's an underrated thing that a lot of Sephiroths don't do. What Scott's doing is he's using his up B as a way to get momentum and take that stage away from Zaheer. Yep. So you can't set up your projectile wall on me. That makes sense. I mean, you know, if he's only doing that first uh, type of up B, you know, there's, yep. there's a charge variation, then you just have that, you know. Get back to the stage as quick as you can. Regardless, the here is all over. Okay. And right now, it, I know the score says 130 to sub 40, but this, it's closer than it appears just because of the wing advantage. True, but, but like right now, boom, Seth, eight three. If Sephiroth gets tapped, it, it, can, it can be tough time. Okay, dash that. Yeah, and any straight hit. If he gets hit by that flare, the shadow flare, he is in deep trouble. Definitely. Oh, that down smash. Oh. And we all know that as a shield breaker. Got to be careful. Getting some good percent right there. Pretty even right now, oh. I'd say. That shield is a peanut out of heat. We have got to be careful if we're here, thinking about how we're going to set up this ledge guard. Looks like it's just a couple bombs in the path. Oh, and man. spin takes him out. Spacing just not strong enough right there. Let's see if Scott yeah. can uh, finish up this talk pretty quickly, you know, in a game that should have been, you know, pretty well in his favor. Just slipped away from him on the first stock, and there you go. Okay, but if we're looking for a saving grace, if we get down and behind on this stock, we have DLC mode, <laughs> we get the wing, and we can start pushing for our advantage again. That's just the here lets you. I mean, this man's a monster with Link. Got to be careful with everything he does. Here we go. Oh, right into his loving arms. Going low. Oh, oh, trying to get that down there. Scat looking to be cute and trying to end that stop oh, right now. Body oh, oh, behind us. Oh, oh. So right now, it, we have Sephiroth. Oh, One thing that has been that's been very underutilized, and I think it's Scat reacting to how severe he is as a player, he hasn't been using his counter a good bit. Yep. Oh. Here we go, flare to cover. Yeah, and the counter, it doesn't send back projectiles, but it will do a lot of damage if you hit a wrong move on it. And that's something that uh, Zaheer definitely has to be wary of. Oh man, so tricky. Okay, here we go. Close game, but he has the wing. Yep. So it's not as easy. Now, now it's probably Sephiroth favor by a good bit. We'll see, we'll see. Getting the ledge trap. Scat normally doesn't give those up, but does right here. So, now Link trapping him in the corner. Okay, be careful. 
They here playing so smart right now. Just playing at a bank where you can't And there you go. Yep. And that's what we talked about earlier, Cargo. With Zaheer and his set play, he is able to maintain that advantage to the ledge, that pressure from the ledge safely. And then if he loses that area, he immediately regress, regresses back to the center stage and starts to lock down again. Man, Zaheer, so taking a fortunate stock away from Scat. But you take them. You know, taking that first stock, taking the last stock, and the, you know, probably takeable. You know, stage yeah. fight. Let's see how Scott retaliates because he's not trying to go down like this. But the here, he wants that upset. Oh, absolutely. Having that on your resume. Absolutely. Scott W in Georgia. You know, when that new PR season comes up, definitely wants to have that on his resume. Zach. Oh, man. My legs are too big for this fucking table. Same here, man. It, it's it, it being tall problems. Yeah, right? Being over six foot. Oh. Hate, I hate it. I wish I was shorter. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got some two tall characters right here. We got Link and Sephiroth. Again, I mean, Scat, you know, he's not going to switch it up. Well, Trusting right, the process. But right now, we, have, we see that Scat has a very good time. He's been extending this advantage so well. He has been comboing so fast and so quickly. But now, is it here? I want to see. There you go. There's that counter. Get off me. Stay away from me. Doing a good job of that. Oh, man, the upper covering so much. You really just can't land on Sephiroth. You have to really be careful because he can also mix it up and just wait for you. Just up smash you. Absolutely. And, you know, has super armor. Got to be careful to hear. Always plays that way. Absolutely. 105. Here comes that wing. And we have got... And what I want to see is Scott kind of utilize that forward air pressure to be like, look, I don't want you to come near me, but I have a wing. Yeah, what? Jeez. Oh, oh, oh God. Here's a punish. Oh. That, that drift. Yeah, you have a lot of drift until the very end of it, and then you're just kind of stuck in place. Absolutely. Here it is. Okay, trying to catch him, but still gets him anyways. The up air, I mean, it, it's such a solid option to go for. Even if it hits shield, you know, you're going to be relatively safe out of range. But this is what's going to be interesting. He got. He lost his stock. He didn't even wait on the angel platform. He just said, "Get me back in there. I want to go for blood. I have momentum. Let's keep this up." But good lord, Scat has changed up his style entirely. And this yep. is what happened when I played Scat a long time ago when I first started. I took a couple. I took like a stock or two off him, and I'm like, "Wow, I'm feeling good." And then I got absolutely blown up the next game. Yep. Scat is a very quick learner, and it didn't take long for him to figure out what Zahir is trying to do to make him uncomfortable. Keeping him on the ledge right here. Very difficult to get away from this pressure. Right, here we go. Homework, calling him out with the neutral air, trying to get that extension off and push him off stage. Okay. He's trying to wait out the uh, the little flames on him. Yeah, those shadow flares are a really tricky thing to play around. Because you almost start you stop thinking about what you need to do as a player and start worrying about what is Sephiroth trying to get on me with the shadow players. Yeah, what kind of setup do you really want? Like, I mean, I've heard it's randomized, like the hits. Scott told me it wasn't. So, you know, Scott can kind of count, wait for it, and really capitalize. But I mean, we haven't seen it as of yet. Oh man, trying to get that down here for a quick stock. Well, at 140, you don't need too much. Oh, going backwards too. All right, here we go. Where are you going? Uh, here, now you gotta play against the wings here. You are at a straight hit and a bad Momentum of just dying right now. Yeah, but he doesn't need much to be able to kill that rock. One of the lighter characters just pulls back and let it lets it rip. I don't even think that was a low profile. I think that was a high profile of whatever he did. Yeah, honestly. So here we go. We got. Scott, he's very content to just play away from to here right now. Yeah, he, he, it, 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 it's almost like he's playing keep away. Doing yep. those nice little nair extensions, but just kind of making it. And look, every time he lands and he doesn't have his shield up, Scat's hitting him with that shadow tag. Oh my God! Just waiting out the options. And what do you do to close this out of your Scat? That could have been, you know, a real closer right there. Still getting him. Oh my God! That's bad. Boost him up. Let him have it. What amazes me is that. 
Scat started slow in this game, and you know what? He immediately changed composure. He said, I know what your options are. I know what your comfort picks are. I'm going to just play me, and I'm going to play my aggressive style. And he calmed down. He got those nair conversions, and he just didn't play. He didn't want to play with him. Next. Mugen, his tag is Mortality. That's who he played as. But I made sure the bracket wasn't rigged like that. So Omega getting upset. And I mean, that's just on Omega. But back to this match. Game three situation on Battlefield. Let's see how Zaheer retaliates. Because, you know, had a fortunate game one. And Scott, he just, he just kind of answered. He let him know. Okay. You don't get anything else for free. What we got Scat's just kind of sitting there. He's do doing what he said. If I don't have an option, I'm just going to snap my fingers at you and try and hold you in the corner until you choose a bad option. Yep. Oh, but Lord, that down air is so committal, and he knows exactly when to pull the trigger. Exactly. But every time he does it, he just makes sure that it's calculated. Okay. Not trying to reversal him. Knowing that Scat's a little too smart to be able to fall for that. Oh, man. Okay. That is it. So there, that up air covers the state of Georgia and a little more. Right. We were talking about this, this Nito S smash. That was what a oh great my God. denial by Austin's this. covered. I mean, you can't go anywhere. And this is what I was talking about earlier. The scat download, he's got him figured out. It is going to be tough to see what he does. Because we mentioned that he played with Neos earlier. Yeah. Neos' sister plays light. Exactly. I mean, you know, you're gonna have, you're gonna have, even like, if it's not this top level practice, it's still hitting late, right? So you know where to hit him, what he wants to do, and uh, I'll be at a shield that is going to be able to even this stock on up. Let's see if the here keep it on. He's gonna need a lot more, and he's got a flare on him right now. I have to wait it out. Scat was all over it. He's got the timing in his head ready, and there is a visual cue as well. Got, that is one thing that Scat. Just like the last game, Scat is calling out that low recovery and waiting for him to commit to an option. Calls him out with the to slash, sends him away, knows the only option is to up the back to stage and immediately counters and destroys him. Yep. Oh god, the counter came out, not able to actually connect it. To here. And, and it's, like, it's like we've been saying this entire match. Right? Scat is so quick oh to tag you. Oh god! Oh that's that! Good night! Good games to Scat. Scat, he, he, he sent a message with that one. Yeah, that was a, not quite a soul read, but a absolute mind reader moment for Scat. Yeah, take that one home with you. Oh yeah. Is he here gonna drop into losers? Oh man, best edge guarder in the game? I don't know, man. But it sure looks like it. I mean, he could just sit out there, just wait. He's like kind of in that floatier range, I feel like, so he doesn't really fastball too hard.